the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. Let each of us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God, the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God, Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You're the word that took our very flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. And we pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast of your handmaid, Saint Cecilia, virgin and a martyr, grant, we pray, that what has been devoutly handed down concerning her may offer us examples to imitate and proclaim the wonders worked by her servants. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Daniel. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came and laid siege to Jerusalem. The Lord handed over to Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and some of the vessels of the temple of God. He carried them off to the land of Shinar and placed the vessels in the temple treasury of his God. The king told Ashpenaz, his chief chamberlain, to bring in some of the children of Israel of royal blood and of the nobility, young men without any defect, handsome, intelligent, and wise, quick to learn and prudent in judgment, such as could take their place in the king's palace. They were to be taught the language and literature of the Chaldeans. After three years training, they were to enter the king's service. The king allotted them a daily portion of food and wine from the royal table. Among these men were of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. But Daniel was resolved not to defile himself with the king's food or wine. So he begged the chief chamberlain to spare him this defilement. Though God had given Daniel the favor and sympathy of the chief chamberlain, he nevertheless said to Daniel, I am afraid of my lord the king. It is he who allotted your food and drink. If he sees that you look wretched by comparison with the other young men of your age, you will endanger my life with the king. Then Daniel said to the steward, whom the chief chamberlain had put in charge of Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Please test your servants for 10 days. Give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then see how we look in comparison with the other young men who eat from the royal table and treat your servants according to what you see. He acceded to this request and tested them for 10 days. After 10 days, they looked healthier and better fed than any of the young men who ate from the royal table. So the steward continued to take away the food and wine they were to receive and gave them vegetables. To these four young men, God gave knowledge and proficiency in all literature and science, and to Daniel, the understanding of all visions and dreams. At the end of the time the king had specified for their preparation, the chief chamberlain brought them before Nebuchadnezzar. When the king had spoken with all of them, none was found equal to Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. And so they entered the king's service. And any question of wisdom or prudence which the king put to them he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his kingdom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's responsorial psalm is, 
Glory and praise forever. Glory, Glory and, praise and praise forever. forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory, Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus looked up and saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury. He noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others made their offerings from their surplus wealth. She, from her poverty, offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. These readings that we get at this time of the year, and sometimes they're very long. God bless Jennifer, that's a very long reading. But they're interesting. Like he, he said, pick out men who are handsome, intelligent, and wise. Well, I would not have made the cut. All right, you're all supposed to laugh. I know it's early in the morning. Whatever. But Two weeks ago, something interesting happened. They had the half marathon. Those things have all been impacted by COVID. And it's an interesting event. You saw, you no doubt saw the rather critical letter from a local minister that people cannot get to church on Sunday morning when there's a marathon, Greenreach Street, Providence Road, coming up the, from like Weston Field. And, you know, that, that, that marathon is a big event. Maybe, I don't know how many thousands of runners are in it. But one thing I do know for sure is that the night before that marathon, and any marathon, half marathon, full marathon, they eat special food. Like, they know what they're doing. They know what kind of food they want that will not, you know, give them a hard time when they're halfway through the race and what will give them the right carbs and everything. They know what they're doing. I want you to think about that in terms of today's reading because it's an interesting reading. They're trying to un-Jewish these fine, young, handsome, intelligent ones. Get rid of your Jewish faith. They've been conquered by Babylon. Jews are always getting conquered by somebody. So they're being, we're going to give you these foods to eat. And Daniel's like, no, I'm only going to eat vegetables. Now we might say, well, vegetables are what's healthy. Don't do that. Don't read the scriptures that way. And as what he's saying is, I'm not going to do what you're telling me to do. If you're offering me the finest meats and the finest breads, I'm going to eat my vegetables because I'm a good Jew. I'm not going to give up my Jewish faith. I'm not going to do it. And he ends up looking more handsome and more healthy than the guys who are able to eat the finest of foods instead of just vegetables. It's not about having the right diet. It's about having the right God. It has nothing to do with the vegetables. It has to do with he knows God will provide what he needs in the face of terrible opposition and eventually captivity. To, to give him what he needs. That God will keep me strong. It's not the meat that makes me strong, it's God. How many of us have that kind of faith? That God will always provide for me what I need and keep me strong to go out there and face the challenges of this world. The best meal, right here, 
the Eucharist. The grace from the Eucharist may not give me the right carbs or proteins, whatever, but it will give me the strength to go out and proclaim the gospel, to make disciples, and to follow closely Jesus Christ. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to the Lord. Today's response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that her power and authority may be exercised in love and service to all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may make their decisions in the light of truth and justice that embody God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Terry Moran, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. But God, strengthen our faith through the grace given us in all sacraments, especially the Eucharist, to be true to our faith, to preach the gospel, to build your kingdom. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hey friends, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. The offerings we bring in celebration of Cecilia, when your gracious acceptance, Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are glorified. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours. Therefore, all creatures in heaven and earth sing a song in adoration. May our voices blend with theirs as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when 
this up, Brenda, he took a chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, Pope Joseph, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. Praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
You know, so we have the new books in the pews, which will begin use on Sunday for the first Sunday of Advent. The kids, youth group kids, spent some time putting them out in addition to packing the shoebox gifts for the homeless at our soup kitchen. I will be delivering them in 10 minutes downtown. We have the best youth program in the country. How long it has been since we've had books in our hands. March of last year, unbelievable, a year and a half since we, the COVID began to become the talk of the whole world. Unbelievable, the, the deaths that have happened, the sacrifices that have been made, the losses that have been incurred. Unbelievable how the COVID has impacted our lives. To my knowledge, we're, we're the most mass conscious parish I know in the area. To my knowledge, no one has caught anything here. I hope and pray that's true. I, I can't say for sure, obviously, but how the COVID has changed all of our lives. Let us all stand to pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Cecilia a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of the Eucharist, we, bravely overcoming every evil, may attain the glory of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us and all of our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends. We go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.